Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And today we have the draft, the draft booster box for Strixhaven School of Mages. Obviously we did the set booster box last week and that was literally a hell of a box. It was so, so good. And I'm wondering, is this gonna top it? So for the first rare we have Kian, which, oh, there's some good archive cards there I see. And yeah, this uh, obviously an okay rare. Uh, we've got Infuriate, Infuriate tag, which gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. And, oh, what are the chances? We have a Foil Infuriate and a Spirit. And of course, as always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. For some reason, we are well on the way to a thousand subscribers, which again, means a prickly marmoset tattoo somewhere on my body, which you know you love to see. Sliverquill Command in that rare slot and Strategic Planning. Nice, 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 lovely art uh, there for that archive slot. And whilst we get started, whilst we're fresh off the pack, let me know in the comments below, what house are you in? I'm really, really interested to... Uh, to see what everyone's houses are. For me, I am Silver Quill, Team Silver Quill all the way, but not Quintorius. And uh, a great card of which I will start talking about my draft experience on Arena the other day, which was amazing. And we've got Archmage Emeritus with that Magecraft for the rare slot and a good old classic Lightning Bolt in that archive slot. There we go. Double rare pack, you love to see it. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I've suddenly got my set booster box brain on from uh, from last week. I'm expecting there to be like two or three rares in every pack. I'm expecting an, uh, a, a list card, but that's uh, that's not gonna happen, is it? For the rare, we've got Exponential Growth, a card I've not got yet, and a really, really cool sorcery. Until end of turn, double target creatures power X times. That could be absolutely brutal and revitalize, gain three life and draw a card. Yeah, you might have seen on the Instagram, which uh, which will be in the link tree below, the other day, uh, me and some of my friends, me, Master Steve, the whole gang, we uh, we did a draft on Arena. I went, uh, <laughs> I went law hold and I went seven and oh, it was absolutely amazing. Devastating mastery in that rare slot. Wicked little board wipe option. And Regrowth, another double rare pack. Oh, Fractal summer Summoning in a foil. Yeah, I went 7 and 0 oh with Boros or uh, or maybe Lawhold, Lawhold as it should be called. Really, really good, uh, good stuff there. And I was not expecting to go 7 and 0. Oh. It was amazing. And uh, oh, Tanzir Quandrix. That Quandrix and the first Mythic, the uh, the big bad Elder Dragon of Simic, aka Quandrix. Nice stuff. And Village Rights for the Archive slot. Oh, and a nice little foil too. Yeah, for a set when it was first announced, I was really uh, I was really unsure of. I was kind of sitting on the fence. I've really very quickly grown to love this set. I think it is amazing. I love the new stuff like Magecraft. I think that is just brilliant. Big, big fan over here. But what is the rare we're going to get in this? Or is it a mythic? Fervent Mastery. Okay, not, not a mythic, but still a good card. Whirlwind Denial in the archive slot. And a nice little DFC option token type card there. I love these archive cards and I really really like the uh, the Japanese versions I think they are some of the best artwork I've ever ever seen and I don't know if it's possible I don't know if it's just collector boxes or I don't know if there's a tiny chance but I would love I would absolutely love to get one of those in this box multiple choice really again a really really cool X card I absolutely love it Gives you loads of different choices of what to do. Or if X is four or more, do all of them. It's good stuff. Increasing Vengeance in that, again, Mythic. Mythic slot. That is really, really cool. 
and a test of talents. Yeah, I said it in the last box. I'm really glad there's not too many, uh, too many of the archive cards. I'm glad there's not, you know, 100, 150, which, you know, I'm actually surprised that Wizards didn't do because, you know, Wizards love a cash grab. So yeah, it's, uh, it should be something easy to kind of collect. Shadow, Shine, Shadow, Snarl in that rare slot. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another Cultivate. Only in common, but I just love this card. Who doesn't love it? I've got my cool Cultivate corner collecting at the minute. Obviously, with that uh, really cool alternate art from M... Was it M21? I think it was M21, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll just make sure I have a cool different Cultivate in each of my decks. That would be cool to bait. Yes. Uh, Venerable War Slinger, Vigilance Trample 3 3. Not something I ran. I'm really hoping that I've, you know, run in some rare or uncommon cards from my draft experience. And, oh, very, very nice. Gift of Estates, that archive slot. Really, really cool art. We asked for a home and received the world. Is exactly how that would sound from that flavour text. Do you want to go as far as to say that this is. My favourite set since Throne of Eldrain. I don't know. I don't know. That is a that is a big, big statement. It is a silver quill statement. And yeah, what we're getting in this pack. Oh, okay. It's another Elder Dragon. It's the Priest Mari Elder Dragon. That is, that is a hell of a pull. That is amazing. Three, four, flying. I believe it may have made the top ten of my top ten most valuable cards um so check that out after this video of course and we get a wreck weather the storm game three life and of course storm good stuff well rare mythic why have we not got a mythic pile already let's get the other the other elder dragon in there and you know what let's get the uh in yeah let's get the increasing vengeance in there let's let's appreciate these mythics and we've got the last card or the last pack from this uh from this first third i always call the best pack of the box and it's not going to be this one it's not this is going to be just a bang average one nation's inspiration law hold command cool little law hold rare gives you two options and uh yeah fan of that and shock shock am i shocked this was not the best pack no because i called it i don't know if it was because the last box was an absolute banger. The set booster was really, really good. I don't know if I prefer the set booster. Of course, I've opened previous set boosters in Zendikar Rising and uh, and Kaldheim maybe, um, but they just weren't that good. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. This is one of the cards that I uh, that I got in my draft as soon as I saw this. It's an absolute game changer. I really, really want to make. A standard Winota deck revolving around Winota, Blade Historian, a few others. And there's Duress. Yeah, can you imagine, you know, playing Winota, whacking out that human, Blade Historian, everything has double strike. That is a hell of a combo. And uh, I can see why it is already, you know, quite popular. And yeah, something that I really, really want to make myself. But Wizards, if you're watching, and you're probably not, there's the rare. Give us more rare wild cards. For each opponent gain control of up to one target creature or planeswalker, mana three or less. Opt. There we go. Yeah, give us more rare wild cards. If you are still watching at this point and you play arena, let me know if you agree. I think I think the you know how long it takes to get these rare wild cards is just it's a bit silly, isn't it? It's a bit silly. I want to play, I want to craft decks quickly, and you just can't. Zephyr, Boots, I have a friend that loves this card. He said he'd pick it over any card in the set, which is some statement. Vanishing Verse, I don't know if that statement's true, but he probably said it. And a Snakeskin Veil again. I decided, I always say, how oh, that Magic Arena card is a piece of trash. Uh, yeah, now I've decided it's not even worth mentioning. It's not worth my time. Although, am I going against that statement by mentioning that I'm not going to be mentioning it? I don't know. Who knows? Witherbloom Apprentice for that uncommon. And Plague, Dean of Chaos, who turns into Augusta, Dean of Order. 
I love a good Dean. This better not awaken anything in me. <laughs> okay, and another alt. There's not a lot of tokens in this deck, is there? There's only nine. And I don't know if one or more, one of them or more is a treasure token. I don't know if there's more than one. But yeah, not a lot of tokens for a set, which, which you don't see. You don't see. Usually nowadays you're looking at 30. Oh, okay, we've got a random lesson. And I was told by someone kindly in the comments in the last video, lessons can just lessons can just appear. And that is that is a lesson that I learned. Okay, let's put that in the rare slot. That is that is a random one. And Valentin, Dean of the Vein, which turns into that Golgari Lisette, Dean of the Root. Lovely good stuff there. Defiant Strike and a foil mage jewel. Yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty good box so far. It's been it's been all right, all right, all right. But has it been amazing, amazing, amazing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we need a couple more, a couple more rarities, a couple more mythics. Maybe a nice Professor Onyx. That'd be good. That is one of the cards I want the most. I want Professor Onyx. But we get a Demogoth Titan, that big eleven ten that costs four. Obviously, when it attacks all blocks, you have to suck a creature. But getting that out on turn four is just dirty, isn't it? It is just dirty. Oh, wee. My uh, throat started going towards the end of that pack. Although, if I'm being completely honest with you, I may have gone out last night now. Our uh, restrictions in England are easing. I may have had a few too many beers. And my voice is feeling a little bit strained this morning. But you have to go on. Slither Quill Silencer. Have to open the box, don't I? Have to open the box, even if my uh, voice feels like it's falling out of my butt. Uh, we've got Harmonized, draw three cards. Really cool art, really cool rare there. I absolutely could be wrong because I tend to be wrong at least 65% of the time. In things like the Commander Precons, is Harmonized an uncommon or is it a rare? Is it a rare? For some reason, for some reason, my mind is telling me that it is a, uh, an uncommon, but I'm probably wrong. And we've got another Demogoth Titan. I'm really not sure on the value of this. It's either going to be worth a few quid or it's going to be one of them 20p rares. I don't know, but it's a, uh, yeah, really, really cool card. And we've got a Tendrils of Agony. Target player loses two life and you gain two life. And again, with that returning storm mechanic. Woo. Yeah, as I, I mean, as I've mentioned, I talked about arena. It's it's something that I've always sort of flirted with. You know, I've got into it for a couple of weeks at a time, and then just fell out, fell out of favour with it. But right now, I am loving arena more than ever. I've got my cycling deck, which I think is really cool. Oh, bookworm! Oh, what a card! What a card! This is the prickly mama set of the set. And if you argue with me. I will fight you and they will fight you too. You don't want that. Augmenter Pugilist. Again, another DFC card turns into that sorcery. Echoing Equation. Really, really cool card. Any good experiment is repeatable. And we've got another Weather the Storm. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should make my Boros deck in standard. I'm halfway there. I've got two Blade Historians. You love to see it. On my famed list of things you love to see, you bet Bookworm is up there. Bookworm can uh, hang out with the marmosets. That is, oh, you just, you just love it. You love to see it. Thing is, what is this pack gonna be as we're getting through the second third of the box? Is it gonna be a big one? No, it's not. We've got Strict Protector, Spirit Cleric, Love a good cleric, I do. And infuriate, I'm a bit infuriated. This pack is a bit doo-doo. Infused with vitality for that foil. Love, love the uh, the school stamp there. That is some good stuff. Yeah, you got you got to let me know. Got to let me know. Maybe hit me up in the comments below. Maybe hit us up on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever. We're pretty friendly. If you talk to us, we'll talk to you. You let me know what your best pulls so far have been. I saw um, me, Master Steve, and his lovely wife, Abby, 
opened some boxes last night and they got some bangers as me master steve always does frost boil snarl and an eliminate there they got two two borderless rowan and will which was which just looked so good on that little gathering the magic stand as well got a borderless professor onyx oh i was just i was just jealous but that's fine because we'll be getting our own Professor Onyx somewhere in this box. You just know it. Draconic Intervention for the rare there. And another Duress, which seems to be the sort of most common of all of the uh, those alternates. And we go into the last third with our girl Dina telling us this is the pack of the box. This is it. This is it. You just know it. Well, you don't know it. I know it. We're getting through the commons. I'm going to go a bit slow because I know that this is the pack of the deck. Oh my God. There we go. He calls it and it is. He calls it what it is. And uh, I won't flip Jadzi just yet because I want to see what this is. Natural order. And it's a mythic. It's a mythic. In a draft booster, can you get much better than a double mythic pack? No, you can't. Oh my God. Yes, you can. You can. Two mythics and a foil rare. I don't know how I do it. Honestly, honestly. I said in the last box, 60% of the time, it happens every time, and I call the best pack of the box. And it just is. It just is. Okay, that has put me, that has put me in a really good mood. Hangover be gone. Shut the speed down! That was, that was... That was a hell of a box. We're not gonna. Is that the is that the closest I'm gonna get to a Professor Onyx? Maybe, maybe. That was that was a hell of a pack. That was a hell of a pack. Rust Rebirth in the rare now, and a Divine Gambit. Where's my Teferi's protection? I want to know that. With a Bloom Pledge Mage in the foil. Where is my Teferi's protection or my Demonic Tutor? I got to know. Guts to know where is it? Is it in this pack? I don't know. All I know is it's not going to be the best pack, but oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, this went in my uh 7 and 0 7 and 0 deck. Oh, oh, it was a good sloth, it's a giant sloth, but it's a good sloth, it's a good sloth. And star pupil, star pupil as well. We had three of them, and the uh, star pupil looks exactly like my uh, like my friend Painy. Oh, he's a good, he's a good boy. Star people, not not Bailey. Uh Dina, Soul Steeper, Law Hold, Excavation. No, I take it back. He's a good boy too. Elemental Expressionist in that rare slot, and Thrill of Possibility. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just I'm just so hyped. There's something, there's some some good feeling I tell you about calling a calling a double mythic and foil rare pack and and getting it. But you know, it's probably all downhill from here. Probably all downhill. We've probably We've hit our uh, mythic quota for the boxes now. Uh, Ulvil Vilda, Dean of Perfection, another Dean. This time it's the Prismari Dean. That Efreet Shaman, Nasari, and Agonizing Remorse. And now I'm realizing I've asked you to put in the comments what your best pull was. I've also said, what is your uh, MTG house? I'm pretty sure I've asked another question as well. So, <laughs> so you know. Those loyal of you, I'm sure you're writing essays in the comments now. Or if you mean Master Steve, you're just asking something about Muldrotha because that's what he thinks about when he wakes up and it's what he thinks about when he goes to bed. Oh, spicy, spicy, spicy. That is another good card. We got it in the last box. Ah, uh, you love to see it. Oh, okay. I don't know what that noise was. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's a double rare pack, which is good, good, tasty stuff. Wandering Archaic, not a mythic, but it's it's all it's up there in mythic mythic price at least at least for this week until the actual uh, until the prices plummet. So Wandering Archaic can go in the uh, in with the mythic boys. Yeah, this has been it's been a good box. It's been a good box. I'm I'm really I'm impressed. Dream Strix in that rare slot. As well as an adventurous impulse, really cool out there. It's one of my favourites from all the archive. It it's just good, isn't it? It's just special. And a frost trickster. Again, it's on me because I should have done my research, but 
I really want to get one of them Japanese arts and I feel like I'm guessing it's just it's just a collector thing. Maybe it's a set thing and I just didn't get it as well. But yeah, uh, set booster boxes have really redeemed themselves. I'm just really, really pleased with the last one. And we've got another random mid-rare lesson, Teaching of the Archaics. Really, really cool card as well. Do like that. It's pretty cheap for what it for what it does. I mean, easily counted. I've I've learned myself. But uh, yeah, uh, good card. Oh, Killian, lovely, lovely card. And a Vine Glimmer Snarl. I love these snarls. I love any sort of new jewel land that comes out. Big fan. And oh, this is a hell of a pack as well. This is a hell of a pack. Inquisition of Kozilek. Love this card, great one drop sorcery, but also it's worth a few quid too. Which I like because again, I'll use it now. My cheap plug of the of the uh, box opening. Check out my card market. And if you don't already, just sign up to card market. It's free and you can use our code. And uh, yeah, that will help the channel. You want to help the channel, don't you? I want to help the channel, you help the channel. And now I'm rambling. Sparring Regimen for the rare. Obviously another learn card, learn those lessons. And Electrolyze for the uh, making it a double rare pack. Yeah, so the reason I like this, uh, like this set so much is because of the new mechanics. I love Magecraft, but I love the whole lesson and learn thing. I feel like, especially in standard, using your, um, your sideboard, especially if you only play best of one, it's like a it's like an underused thing and yeah i really really like lessening and learning and i like crackle with power as well big big x card and of course it's a mythic mythic equals money usually anyway and another eliminate mythic equals money most of the time but not always oh how clean was that pack opening i, I have mastered it i have mastered it I uh, not long ago went back and watched my original uh, box opening, my Corio one, just because I really wanted to cringe at myself. Sedgemore Witch for the rare and an Agate. Love to see it with that creative outburst. Yeah, I went back and watched my original Ikoria box. Oh my God. Oh my God, did I have a cringe fest. I have a cringe fest. I mean, I only opened it with the intention of one of my friends seeing it anyway. But oh, there was no, there was no music. There was no atmosphere. I mean, I, I got it right calling how good Prickly Marmoset was, but that's about it. It was cringy. Semester's End, that good little rare. Exile any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers you control. And then they return with counters. It's good stuff. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hello now. We have got... <laughs> hello there. We have got a Blue Sun Zenith Mythic. I didn't think we'd be getting any more Mythics. And it's one of the best ones. That is a hell of an archive pull. That is some good stuff. And I believe, did I get a mythic not too long ago? And I put it just in this pile? No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Was it here? Yeah, it was. There we go. Wow, that is, it's a good bunch of, it's a good bunch of mythics. Let's go on to the last pack where we are gonna get a Professor Onyx and a foil apparently. We're gonna get a Professor Onyx. We're gonna get a foil bookworm. I can just I can just see it coming. Star pupil. Good sign. Nice bear. Another good sign. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get not <laughs> Professor Onyx. Not Professor Onyx. Just a Prismari sorcery. Culmination of studies. Abundant harvest for that rare. Oh, it wasn't even a foil, it was a DFC placeholder card. Rubbish. Wow, 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 wow. That is a, there we go. That was a, a hell of a box. We've got two, we got three, four, five, six, seven mythics. That is, that is pretty damn cool. Good stuff. There we have it. Thank you for watching this booster box opening. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. You can always subscribe if you get sick of me. But for now, I am all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.